Hello and welcome to this quick introduction on our new STEVAL MKI 109V3 motherboard called Profimems. Here you have the board. The Profimems uses an STM32 F401 microcontroller based on an M4 core which functions as a bridge between the sensor on the motherboard and your laptop. You can either run the Unico graphical user interface that is downloadable from the ST website or dedicated software routines for customized applications. This set of uh, boards is aimed at enabling a detailed evaluation of our newest MEM sensors as soon as they are available. The ProfiMEM new features are a programmable voltage power supply that can be used with all the new MEMs that have a voltage supply lower than 3.6 volt, an onboard dedicated circuitry to measure sensor current consumption during test. The profile MEM board supports also the OIS and EIS features available on our latest six axis inertial modules. The communication protocol can be also changed on the fly between SPI and I2C. Last but not least, all these uh, features can be controlled by the user through the Unico GUI. For your evaluation, you will need to download the necessary software. Please go to the Profimems tool web page on the ST website, open the Design Resources tab, and click on the Unico software package for your operating system to download the package. In the root directory, you'll find a setup file to install the GUI. The software has the following directory structure. The driver, which contains the installation package for the USB drivers needed to connect the Profimems board to the PC. No driver is needed on Linux and Mac OS platforms, so this directory is included in the Windows installation package only. The DFU, which contains the .dfu files and the installation package for the software needed to upgrade the firmware on the Profimems tool board. The Profimem tools can be easily evaluated using the Unico graphical user interface that runs on multiple platforms such as Linux, Mac OS and Windows. For this demonstration, we will be using Windows. Now, let's start using the Unico GUI by plugging the adapter to the motherboard. and then connecting the motherboard to the PC via USB. The Unico GUI can be used to evaluate all ST sensors, from MEMS motion sensors, such as accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, and INEMO inertial modules, to all the environmental sensor. After having connected the motherboard to the PC, you can launch the Unico software. Then select the type of sensor you are using and the name of the device you need to evaluate. As you can see, there are several tabs at the top of the GUI used to configure the sensor. The Options tab can be used for an easy setup of the device. By clicking the Easy Configuration button, you can turn on the device and quickly set a default configuration. The register tab is used to read and write the content of the registers embedded in the MEMS sensor. The load save tab allows to save and stream of sensor output data in a text file. It is also possible to save the register configuration in news and reload it at any time. The buttons on the left enable the visualization of sensor output data in both graphical and numeric format. They are also used to evaluate advanced features embedded in our devices. Some of the new features offered by the Profimems are the device current measurement and the possibility to set the power supply voltage in a range between 1.8 to 3.6 volt. These new features can be managed by a dedicated window. By clicking the measure button, the device current consumption is measured immediately. A voltage level can be inserted in the text box and set as VDD or VDD-IO level through the two buttons. 
After clicking the Start button, we can test our sensor, in this case an iNemo module, by simply moving the board. Acceleration and angular rate variation along the x, y and z axis are shown in real time as numerical data in the data window. You can also see the evolution over time using the plot tool. Each curve represents a different axis. By pressing the interrupt button, you can display a list of programmable interrupts. For example, click on Wake up on interrupt 1 and you'll simulate a function commonly used in mobile phones. When you move the board, you wake it up. Now let's test the 6D function. The tip that you see on top of the screen is oriented by the software in real time based on the movement of the sensor along the 6 axis. The Embedded 6D Position Detection feature we're demonstrating right now is commonly used to determine the screen orientation of portable devices. Unico has a tool that can configure the FIFO data buffer embedded in the device, indicating both numerical data and the corresponding graph. All developable FIFO modes can be configured. The FFT tool displays the fast Fourier transform of the output data. The tool shows both the time domain plot and frequency domain plot for each axis. If Unico is used with a magnetometer, you can evaluate additional functionalities. By clicking on the scatter plot button, you can visualize the scatter plot of magnetometer data and evaluate the quality of sensor calibration. Now let's check out an example of a compass application that combines accelerometer and magnetometer data. By rotating the board, the GUI shows the adding of the compass. The embedded algorithm measures the magnetic field using the magnetometer data and compensates for the board inclination using the accelerometer data. ST offers a large portfolio of adapters for any sensor in production. With Unico, you can speed up the evaluation for your application. Now it's your turn. Choose your sensor and start to design a new breakthrough application. Thanks for watching this video and for more information please visit ST.com.